Sadly, nowadays, no matter who you are, rejection is just part of normal life, whether you're a guy or girl. The conversation of who gets rejected more, guys or girls, is an age-old discussion, but either way, either gender goes through it a lot. And honestly, it can go a lot farther than dating. It can be rejection as far as a job application or trying to go to college or even something as simple as just asking someone to have a drink with you. And I've been rejected, of course, like everyone. Everyone has taken L's. I've been stood up, I've been laughed at, I've been insulted, made fun of. But most of all, the number one thing that I remembered was to never be disrespectful. And I know it's very, very difficult. I understand the feelings of being upset and the feelings of feeling innocence betrayed in a way, almost. Like this person has betrayed your trust that you came to them with this confession of being able to have romantic feelings. And instead of just saying no, they've done something to make you feel feel less or to make you feel bad as a person. You know, the thought of, you know what, no would have been a perfectly all right answer too. Or the thought of, if she didn't want to go out with me tonight, she could have just told me that. Or even the thought of, I would have just preferred if she just ignored me. I get all of that and it hurts and you feel upset. But the primary thing to remember is the fact that there's another human being. Don't insult someone just because you feel bad in that moment. Otherwise, you're no better than them, really. You're actually worse than them, if anything. In moments like these, it is super fucking annoying to have to be told, be the bigger man, because we all get told that. You have to be the bigger person. You have to be the more mature person. But in reality, being the mature person can fucking suck sometimes because it doesn't feel like you're being the mature person. It feels like you're just being a wimp, if anything. Everyone wants to be petty in the moment. Everyone wants to be able to get their little jab in in the middle of a conversation, but it serves no purpose. Other than the two seconds of dopamine you get, you're just gonna start contemplating later whether or not you should be apologizing to this person. Don't let your lizard brain only lead you to making a mistake that is going to make you feel less of a person. <sighs> Thank you for making it to the end of this video, guys. If you like this video, that means you like this channel. So scroll down right now, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to turn on notifications and to leave a comment. Stay safe, stay smart, and start taking accountability today. Peace.